let's clear the air about mixing concrete. Whether you mix a little or mix a lot, or maybe you've never mixed concrete before in your life, there are some right ways to do it, and there are some wrong ways to do it. Let's look at six common concrete mixing mistakes. One of the worst offenders for mixing concrete, and surprisingly, you see this all the time out there. You rip open a bag of pre-mixed concrete, dump it into a hole, and spray it with a garden hose. That should be good for this fence post, right? No need to pre-mix this concrete before pouring it in. That's lazy workmanship to me. Mix that concrete together properly before using it. Yes, the concrete will get hard, but it doesn't get an even distribution of water and hydration. This is a problem for the finished strength. Besides, it's just a little bit of work, do it properly, and you'll get better results. Put in the work, a little bit of elbow grease, mix your concrete together in a bucket or in a wheelbarrow, and then use it. Don't pre-mix your dry ingredients together. I mean, don't pre-mix your dry ingredients sometimes, but other times, definitely pre-mix your dry ingredients, but only if it's on the same day, not the next day, because, okay, look. If you're going to pre-mix your dry ingredients together, like your sand and cement, or maybe some lime in with that mix, this is a great idea if you're working on a job site and you're going to do a bunch of work. But if you mix those ingredients together, you have to use it all today. That's the thing. Just that tiny bit of water that's left in the sand, the residual dampness, is enough to actuate the concrete. If you pre-mix all of your ingredients together and your sand is not bone dry, what you'll find the next day is that now your concrete's hardened. If you want to pre-mix your dry ingredients together, you can do that, but you should use all of it today. Anything that's left over for tomorrow might be ruined. So only pre-mix your dry ingredients if you plan to use them all right away. Almost universally, when you go to mix concrete for the first time, you're going to make it too wet. When it's dry, it's really hard to mix it together, and I mean like, it's a lot of work, no matter how you're doing it. So you add more water, and a little more, and a little more, and a little more. And then all of a sudden it's like soup. Well, that's good, right? It mixes together super easy now and it flows really easy. You can pour it out and use it. But the problem is, is it's totally compromised in terms of the finished strength. The amount of water that you need to make concrete or mortar is actually very, very little. Something similar to damp sand would be ideal and make the strongest finished product. And it's not just that too much water isn't great, makes it kind of weak. A little too much water seriously compromises the finished strength. Make your mix on the dry side, and you'll find that you have a much more reliable, stronger finished result. Make sure you make enough concrete or mortar for whatever you're working on. A really common mistake, especially for new people, is you make what you think is enough, but as it turns out, you're about 10% short for what you need. Like, I mean, you can make some more really quick, but now you have some new concrete and you have some old concrete that's kind of starting to set up already. And plus it could look a little different and it'll definitely finish different. So the goal is here, make more than you're going to need. If you make more concrete than you need, then you don't need to stop when you're almost finished your project and quickly make some more. This will allow you the maximum amount of time to finish your concrete properly and with all the care that it deserves. There are a lot of different ways that you could mix concrete together, but something that you need to do universally is mix it really well. If you undermix your concrete or don't really mix it together properly, you could have areas where it's very weak or even totally compromised in terms of strength. Be careful about not leaving clumps of cement or aggregates together. A thoroughly mixed concrete is a well-mixed concrete. And here's a tip that you should definitely take to heart. Clean up before it sets up. When you're done mixing concrete or finishing concrete or both mixing and finishing concrete, be sure to clean your tools, clean your buckets, clean your trowels, clean any implements that you use to mix the concrete together like a mixing paddle or the whole concrete mixer itself. It's so much easier to clean it now than it is to clean it tomorrow. These six tips aren't everything you need to know to mix concrete, but they're definitely a good start. I mean, you're going to learn the stuff along the way anyway, but this is just a fast track to help you learn it without experiencing all the failures by yourself. I mean, I've probably made more than six mistakes, but I've made these six ones for sure, and then now you don't have to. 
six mistakes about concrete, not life in general, that I've made that you don't have to. I can teach you via a YouTube video. We're going to do it now. You should probably subscribe.